In this week's section, we learned about muscle endurance and how important protein is to the overall growth, maintenance, and repairing of all muscles. Uh, we were then given an equation that allows you to figure out the amount of grams you need per day of protein based on your body weight in kilograms. So of course in the US, we measure ourselves in pounds, so we have to convert that to kilograms and then you'll effectively use the equation to figure out how many grams of protein you need per day. Um, for example, a 190 pound person will need to consume 43 grams of protein per day. Um, that's based on a level of activity that you do. So, I mean, it'd be different if you had someone that was just doing exercise recreationally that they would consume less uh, grams of protein, of course, but I was doing it based on uh, an elite athlete, uh, an endurance athlete, or a powerlifting athlete, uh, for example. And so, like I said, that person will consume 43 grams of protein per day. Um, and, I mean, it is definitely hard to, to consume 43 grams of protein in a day with uh, just meals. So you can use supplements to kind of counteract not being able to eat that many proteins in uh, meals every single day. So the supplements that you can use is beta alanine, which is an amino acid and in the body, it converts to a intramuscular dipeptide called carnosine, which is an intercellular buffer that buffers the lactic acid that builds up whenever you work out. Um, another thing, another supplement you can use is nitric oxide, which vasodilates the um, the blood vessels and allows blood to get to the muscles uh, more readily. And that will kind of act as a buffer as well um, regarding to lactic acid. Again, like I said, it's very difficult to eat protein uh, in your meals daily. So it's best whenever you can't eat that many proteins uh, in your meal per day to try and get these supplements to kind of counteract uh, the lactic acid that builds up whenever you work out.